Hi everyone and welcome back to A Book and a Bottle. I hope you all had a great 4th of July holiday. I sure did, although I'm glad to be back to some sort of routine. Of course, one of the first things that I had to tackle after the holiday was moving out of my office, which flooded at the end of June. So that was a task I'd been putting off, but it ended up being kind of fun because in the process of boxing up all my books, I came across so many that I had forgotten about and had forgotten how much I loved them. So I thought this might be a good time to share some of those with you. So the first one that I picked is The Hotel New Hampshire by John Irving. I'm sure many of you have read this. If you have, it's really time to revisit it. And if you haven't, you definitely want to put this one at the top of your bedside table stack. So this was Irving's fifth novel and published in 1981. And it is the family saga of the, the Berry family of New Hampshire. And uh, Mary and Wynn are the parents and they have five children. And the story is told from one of their son's perspective. His name is John. And John begins the telling of this story with his parents meeting at this resort in Maine where they both worked after graduating from high school. Now, at this resort, not only do his parents meet and fall in love, but also enters into the story this Viennese Jew by the name of Freud and his trained bear, Stato Maine. So that's just a little snippet at how quirky this novel is. Um, and it just goes from there and gets quirkier and crazier and dark and macabre and funny. And it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it deals with everything from suicide, incest, depression, communism, taxidermy, all the while making you kind of gasp and laugh and still dealing with, you know, really big themes of cruelty and injustice. Anyway, it's, um, I would say definitely in my top 10 favorite books of all time. So add that one to your summer reading list. So then to find the perfect wine to go with this Irving book, that was a little bit tricky because it too had to be something special, fun, a little bit quirky. And so this was the perfect time to bring back one of my wines um, from my favorite 90 plus sellers. Do you remember me mentioning, um, introducing the, these wines to you all earlier in, in a book and a bottle? These are um, beautiful wines. Um, chosen from beautiful wineries, but then 90 plus sellers bottles them and is offer is able to offer them to you at a at a much better price. So this bottle of rosé I bought for $11.99. Um, the 90 plus sellers rosé is yummy, 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 yummy. It's from the Languedoc region in France, and I have to say I've never had a wine from that area that I didn't like, rosé or otherwise, but this particular rosé, um, like Irving's book, is one of my favorite rosés. Um, it's a blend of four varietals, Syrah, Grenache, Mouvidra, and Senso. And you get a lot of wonderful strawberry um, aromas on the nose, as well as some um, provincial herbs and white pepper. Some people even get a little cotton candy. I can't say that I have, but that may be because I'm just not a big cotton candy fan and I'm trying to avoid that one. But it really is a beautiful rosé. First time we opened it, I, I think my husband and I probably drank nearly the entire bottle. It was just uh, on a hot summer day, smooth, delightful, um, just the perfect uh, finish. Um, there's some weight on it, but lingers for a moment, but um, just a great summer wine. Um, it pairs really well, and this is where I think it's so wonderfully quirky, quirky because it will pair with everything from prosciutto and melon, a niçoise salad, to some good old southern fried chicken. So for this week, I highly recommend you pick up a copy of the Hotel New Hampshire and a bottle of 90 plus sellers rosé. And if you cannot find 90 plus in your market, I do believe if you go to their website, you'll be able to order it um, directly online. So anyway, y'all have a great week and 